After actor Aaron Rapp uncovered uh, details of how he was sexually assaulted by Kevin Spacey, uh, as we expected, it has opened the floodgates for other male actors in Hollywood to share their stories. Now, um, interestingly enough, uh, the, Guardian, the Guardian is reporting that um, more Hollywood actors are speaking of rampant problems of male abusers targeting other men in the industry. And I think it's, it's relevant and it's worth talking about because a lot of the emphasis is placed on female victims, but there are a ton of male victims as well. And as I've mentioned before, there's usually even more stigma toward them coming out and talking about their experiences. And I want to um, you know, show them some admiration for their courage in coming out and talking about what they've experienced. So Alex Winter, who's an actor based out of London, talked about what he also experienced as a gay male actor who was preyed upon by other males who had more power than him. He says, it's a very taboo subject. I don't know of any boys in any pocket of the entertainment industry that do not encounter some form of predatory behavior. It's really not a safe environment. Wow, okay, so there's another actor who spoke out, Wilson Cruz, who's a gay actor who plays Raps, interestingly enough, Raps love interest in Star Trek, recently spoke out about sexual harassment at a gay, lesbian, and straight education network awards event, saying that an older gentleman made offers when he was young, adding, I did not take them up on it, it was uncomfortable. I was in my 20s and I thought, is this what one does, right? Yeah. And then he was worried that his decision not to act on it would hurt hurt his career, which I think a lot of people do worry about. Yeah, and, and that's why a lot of these uh, people prey on, on younger people, whether they're male or female, because uh, they think they're not gonna know what the standard is. They, they don't know what's right and wrong, and I could pretend like it's normal, and, it's, and they have no power. And when they have no power, it's easier to take advantage of them. And in the movie industry, unfortunately, in the entertainment industry overall, the gatekeepers in the old days before the internet had all of the power. So when you have that kind of power disparity and you put in uh, honestly men into the equation and from time to time women do it as well, but it's far more prevalent among men, both gay and straight. Um, it's, a, it's a dynamic for a lot of abuse and harassment. And so it's not at all surprising. Look, I've, I've told you guys about this uh, over the last couple of weeks. Just because I, I I kept hearing from uh, several different people, ne never anything specific, and they never named anyone, right? But they uh, for years, folks who've come in here for interviews, etc., have been like, "Whoa, you know, one day that'll come out uh, how much it happens among you know uh, in in gay Hollywood," and and so I just you have to remember, there's also victims who are also. Either straight or gay, right. who've been harassed by by those uh, powerful men. I don't think anyone's sexual orientation is any indication as to whether or not they're likely to be a sexual predator. So let's just get that out of the way. Yeah, that is a ridiculous um, notion. However, I think that. Um, Oftentimes, people who are in positions of power will abuse it if they think that it's okay to prey on those who don't have power, right? Again, sexual orientation has nothing to do with it. Harvey Weinstein, obviously not gay, right? But Neither you see is Bill O'Reilly, Roger right. Ailes, Bill Cosby. So uh, that's exactly our point, which is that uh, being gay doesn't magically make you not a part of the, you know, human interactions and family. Of course, they have the same reactions, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. To think that they are either better or worse is preposterous. And unfortunately, we're seeing some of the damage that was done in this situation as well. And it's time for those men to speak up, and they are, to fight back so that it doesn't happen to the next generation. If you like this video, you'll love the whole TYT network. Check it out at tytnetwork.com slash join.